Supreme Court orders the Judicial Bar Council to release psychiatric records. Should the results of the psychiatric test given to candidates who are vying for the position of Supreme Court Chief Justice, but which were considered confidential, be released to the public? Senior Justices of the High Tribunal want the Judicial and Bar Council to disclose the results of the psychiatric test of all the magistrates who were considered for the post. The justices who applied for the position of Chief Justice were Antonio Carpio, Arturo Brion, Presbitero Velasco, Teresita Leonardo de Castro, and Roberto Abad. During Tuesday's deliberation of the Supreme Court and Bank, senior justices were insistent that the disclosure of the results of the mental test were necessary. The day before she was promoted to Supreme Court Chief Justice, the Manila Times revealed that then-Associate Justice Lourdes Sereno had fared poorly in her psychiatric test, scoring a 4 with 5 considered to be the lowest possible grade. With her promotion to Chief Justice, Sereno now heads the Judicial Bar Council, the constitutional body that submits recommendation to the President whenever there is a vacancy in the High Tribunal. This placed Sereno in a quandary. She could not pressure the Judicial and Bar Council to refuse to release the results without appearing to block the negative results of her own tests. Officially, the body of water on the western side of the Philippines is now West Philippine Sea. President Benigno Aquino said September 12 that the Philippines had officially named the South China Sea waters of the country's west coast the West Philippine Sea in a move that could further raise tension with China. Aquino said the government would register the new name with the United Nations as part of the efforts to delineate its sovereign territory even those areas claimed by China or others. China claims nearly all of South China Sea, even waters approaching the coast of other countries, the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan also have overlapping claims to the waters, making the area one of Asia's potentially military flashpoints. The Philippines has been locked in an increasing bitter row with China this year over their competing claims. Last April, ships from both countries engaged in a standoff at Scarborough Shores, a tiny group of islands in the sea. And according to the Philippine government, the Chinese vessel still remains in the area. An administrative order released by the presidential palace on Wednesday said that the West Philippine Sea would be included in the government maps and charts. home from Syria. Some 280 Pinoys arrived from Syria last September 11 as a result of repatriation efforts of the Philippine government and the most recent visit of Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert Del Rosario. The first batch composed of 263 Filipinos arrived in Manila on board a chartered Jordanian Aviation Airlines flight. Another batch of 17 Filipinos arrived at the Maia via the Emirates Airlines flight. Del Rosario personally ne negotiated for the waiver of penalties and fees of repatriates with the Syrian President's advisor on political and media relations, Dr. Bothania Saaban, and Foreign Minister Walid Al-Mualin last September 4. 
the International Organization for Migration agreed to repatriate 263 Filipinos free of charge. This arrangement was extensively and successfully negotiated and arrived upon with the invaluable support from the Philippine Permanent Mission in Geneva. The Department of Foreign Affairs is continuing to urge Filipinos in Syria to take advantage of the assistance being extended by the Syrian government and apply for immediate repatriation. trustee seeks a council seat in the city of San Leandro, California. School board trustee Hermie Almontes poised to become the first and only Filipino-American elected to the San Leandro City Council. The board faced immense pressure earlier this year with budget cuts and looming teachers layoff that steered strong emotions in the community from educator, parents, teachers, and students. There are about 7,000 Filipino Americans in the city of close to 85,000 residents. Almonte is following the example of his neighbors. In Union City, current Vice Mayor Pat Gacoscos and Councilman Jean Navarro and Manny Fernandez were the first Filipino Americans elected to office in Alameda County. They were also the first to break barriers for the East Bay Filipino American community. Almonte won a landslide victory for the Area 1 seat of San Leandro School Board in 2008. the International Critics Award for the 69th Venice Film Festival in Italy. Superstar Nora Onor bagged a coveted Critics Award Friday for her performance in Brillante Mendoza's film entitled Thy Womb, a Filipino translation of Sinapupunan. The prize was awarded a day before the 69th Venice International Film Festival in Italy. Onor, whose other critically acclaimed star Himala, is also being exhibited in the festival under Venice Classics category and also won the Bisato di Oro Award for the Premio della Critica Independiente, an independent film critics group in Italy. Bisato di Oro translates to Golden Eel in English. In the movie entitled Thy Womb or in Tagalog Sinapupunan, Aono portrayed the role of a barren Bajau wife who puts a noble young woman in her husband's bed. The film award-winning director, Brillante Mendoza, was lauded by foreign critics and is in the running for the Leon de Oro, or the Golden Bear, the highest award in the festival. Along with director Brillante Mendoza, Nora Honor was joined in Venice by castmates Lavi Poe and Mercedes Cabral. And this has been your weekly news in review. This news has been brought to you by the premier Filipino-American newspaper here in the United States, The Philippine News. On behalf of the management and staff of The Philippine News, this is David Rodriguez signing off and thanking everyone for listening. Maraming salamat po. Have a wonderful week and mabuhay po sa inyong lahat. In review, this news has been brought to you by the premier Filipino-American newspaper here in the United States, The Philippine News. On behalf of the management and staff of Philippine News, this is David Rodriguez signing off and thanking everyone for listening. 
Maraming salamat po. Have a wonderful week and mabuhay po sa inyong lahat.